Hello everybody, welcome back to Coffee Outdoors. I'm getting ready to clean out my pack basket. I haven't touched this thing since the end of season earlier this year. Stuff's muddy, stuff's dirty, it just needs dumped out, things need washed off. So I thought, why not? I'll do a video on it. We'll go over what equipment I have in my pack basket. See if anything's changed since the last time I've done a video like this, which was a few years ago. So let's take a look at what I carry in my pack basket when I'm trapping coyotes. Of course, the first thing I have is a, a bag of stuffing that goes under my pan for my traps. Of course, dirt sifter. I sift, uh, I use peat moss in freezing conditions and I still use a sifter to sift my peat moss. A lot of people don't, but I do. Of course, I have my wolf fang stake driver. And these things are filthy. Like I said, I haven't been in this thing since end of season. This is a just another Earth Anchor driver, Berkshires, that we do not use anymore, but I kept this driver. I use it, I'll punch it in the ground, and I will make my small dirt holes with this. That's the only reason I carry this, is to make my small dirt holes. I just stick it in there, water it out, and move on. If I want to do a double small dirt hole, whatever. Whatever the case is, that's what I use. You can just see how filthy this 3-in-1 tool is. It's got crap just all over it. This is the 3-in-1 tool I carry. Got the hammer end to drive in your uh, driver to get your anchors in the ground. Got this uh, metal here to help chop out your trap beds. And then if I want to make a bigger dirt hole, it's got a trowel on the end where I can make Make a bigger dirt hole, stick it in, and you can just use the, the end here just to dig that hole out. So, very useful tool to have on the trap line. So there's not a whole lot. I got that, and then uh, something I come across, you can see how filthy this thing is. This is a kneeling pad. I use it to more put my knees on when I'm digging or working on a, on a trap set. Getting the bed dug, resetting, whatever the case is. I'll always have that in there. And if those of you who watched before, I have this piece of wood here. This wood I use to set my traps when the ground's really, really muddy. So that way uh, I have a solid foundation to place that trap on and get that trap set. Versus using my leg or, or I just use this board. This board here is you know, solid. I've used it for years. And it just comes in real handy to get that trap set when your your whole area is nothing but mud. So that's the only reason I carry that. And of course, a couple of different pair of gloves, which those are getting tossed. We'll put some new ones in here for the upcoming season. And just a couple of tools. Actually, I got more pliers than what I probably need three sets of pliers. Got three sets of pliers, which I only need one. A small Phillips screwdriver and a bigger size Phillips screwdriver. And then this little pouch here. I always carry extra split rings. The only time I've ever had an issue with one was that one last year and I caught that double. For those of you who watched that video all the way through, you heard me tell you that that second coyote had worked its way, had that chain worked around on its way of coming off the, the earth anchor, the split ring. Somehow it got it opened up. I don't know how. It just worked its way out and that's the way it was, but I got there just in time, thank God. But my split rings, of course, my trap pan adjuster. You never know if you get there, especially after a catch, that uh, if that coyote might have been anything, bent the dog, bent that frame. So it's always nice to have that way you can sit there, get it adjusted, get it back in working order, and move on. 
plus the split, split ranks, if you gotta switch a trap out, you just slide the trap off, slide the new one on, and keep on trucking. I also have in there a regular screwdriver, and I have this little hyper tough little socket screwdriver with a 9 30 seconds on there. That is in case I have to loosen or tighten the pan. I can just put this on the nut, put this in the screw, and then tighten it up. That way I'm not using pliers. This fits on there. It makes it so much simpler, so much easier. And I've got just different ends in case a uh, different trap, but mainly the Duke 1 3 quarters. This fits the Duke 1 3 quarters, this 9 30 seconds which is mainly what I run anymore for coyotes. And I still just have a bunch of bunch of loose split rings in here, but time to clean it up. I already got my traps dyed or dipped, I mean, using that Dakota line snare and trap dip. I really like that. Started out using that last year. I really do like it, but just trying to get things ready for this upcoming season. My traps are all ready. I've got my peat moss bought and put up. There's really nothing else I really need to get. I may get another dozen or two of uh, earth anchors, but other than that, just getting stuff cleaned up, getting stuff ready to go. If you watch one of my shorts, you see I've already got four more additional bags of pillow stuffing for my pan covers. We look to be, we, I keep saying we because it's usually me and Cody trapping, but this year I'm looking to add up to two to three more properties for coyotes, raccoons, and beavers, so that should give us like eight or nine properties. Give me eight or nine properties to trap. Uh, if you're wondering about Cody, Cody's doing fine. He just spent the whole month of July down in Louisiana at JRTC. He did four weeks of training there with his uh, guard unit from Hawaii. He said it was miserably hot and muggy. He said he'd never been that hot. He said he just constantly sweat. But he is just flew back to Hawaii as of uh, this past Sunday. And as you know, he's on standby right now with all the fires going on there in Maui. His unit could be utilized to go and give aid or help uh, evacuate more people or just whatever they need to do. But uh, we haven't seen it. Total destruction there from some wildfires down in Maui. Uh, just awful. But anyways, traffic season's almost here. If you're new here, make sure you hit that subscribe button. It'd be greatly appreciated. And like I said, we're hoping to have, I'm hoping to have my best year ever this coming year, especially with adding more properties. So more properties equals more animals. More animals hopefully equals more catches. So hopefully I can uh, up the numbers on the Kyles this year, maybe get into double digits or up in the 20s, hopefully. Uh, but I don't set goals. If I catch an animal, I catch an animal. I'm happy with it main thing is I'm out having fun because you're not making money, but I enjoy being out in the outdoors, run the trap line, and you can't beat some of the things you see in the mornings going on the trap line. I can't believe how many eagles and stuff I saw last year. It's just a great thing watching the, the woods come alive in the early mornings. Anyways, thank you all for watching. Greatly appreciate your support. We'll see you in the next video.